So this is a uh, this is episode two of the watch. Um, just a, a bit of a recap. A uh, found magical pocket watch that could stop time, and um, I think that's that's it. Oh yeah, my my stand up comedy career went to shit as well. So I'm just back at the yeah I'm just back in Louth. Oh, sorry to hear that, Poppy. Should we take a look at your job diary? Oh, let's have a let's have a look. This doesn't look particularly uh, full. Yeah. So what's this? T Terry's Tires. It's like a, a tire factory um, near like Cleethorpes. Okay. Any any luck with that? No, no. Doesn't look very th thorough. This um, this diary. And you know, if I don't accept this, it will mean that we stop your benefits for a while if we don't think you're looking for jobs. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to work there anyway, do I? I just did it because um, I just put it in there because I was forced to, didn't know what else to put. I don't want to work with him. It got shut down a bit ago because he was messing well, Poppy, with me. We're not here to discuss you hear, this. We're here about to him? discuss we did. your um, job seeker's diary. And it's not, it doesn't look filled. Yeah, the fact is it's a paedophile, so. I started to wonder what was even the point in having a, this magical power when still at the end of the day, I, I was just, uh, I was still unemployed and uh, miserable. Things uh, started to take a turn for the worst. The watch had started messing my head up big time. Usually when I have a shower I think about stuff like chips or how much of a massive fat slag that I am. But this time it was a bit different. Um, I was worrying, thinking like if I stop, if I stop the watch and then like fall over and smash my head in. What will, like, does that mean time will be stopped forever? So does that mean I have the ability to basically end existence or something? Um, because if I do, I don't know if I should be the one with this kind of it's a bit of a weight on my shoulder and also if that's the case maybe I'm like a uh, I might be God I might be God am I God? I think I'm God um, if I'm a God am I human? what is what is being human? should I just kill myself so I don't have the how I don't know. Right, I've lost my mind. I have lost it. You know what? None of none of you understand. You don't understand. You definitely don't understand. And you don't understand either. I literally could kill any of you at any point. Do you understand? A click, a click of the button and you you fucked. Hey, you can't, you can't be saying that. You can't be saying stuff like that. Look, I don't give a shit, mate. I'll go to, I'll go to London. That's where I'm. That's for me. This, uh, if I stay here, um, you know, there's loads more in London. I can, um, you, uh, I could get. Something from the shops at about nine o'clock, and the shops won't be shut for absolutely no reason. Or I can shag someone, and the whole town will be like, "Oh, you shag so and so," because it's in London. There's loads of people, so it doesn't matter. So I packed up all my stuff and headed to the capital. Hell, London's got everything. Weed lollies, cool t-shirts, 
Lucky Charms. I've seen them. I've seen them on the telly. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm gonna. I'm gonna win London. Watch out, London. Pop is in town. Things in London weren't going as good as I thought they would. So, yeah, I kind of had to end up finding work at like a sex call centre. I knew things would go like this. I'm just, maybe I'm just not. London's always been my dream, but maybe I'm just not cut out for it. You know, you really try and then it's horrible how things just seem to, you know seem to just still slip back into into a bad place you know I thought I thought maybe I could uh, have a new start but obviously you know this is this is terrible this is probably one of the lowest points of my life I love you dick and balls absolutely love them hello who is it? Are you circumcised or not? Have you got, are you one of those um, uh, men with that, like, you got, I really like hairy men. I bet your dick's massive. I bet it's absolutely huge. I, I literally, like, I've, you could send me a dick pic if you want to. I don't think, I don't know if this phone does it. Are you feel? I mean, I'm feeling like there's a, uh, there's something. There's something. It's like my first call and it's just like a connection, I, I think. Oh God, I, I can't. I I literally can't stop thinking about you. I cannot stop thinking about you. I mean, if like, do you feel? I I think there's. I feel like there's something. There's something. I just got honestly. I bet you're. I bet you're fucking gorgeous. I bet you are, gorgeous. I bet you are absolutely amazing looking. I bet your dick's huge. I bet you're gorgeous. I bet you. I bet you. Oh God, I just want you. Like I want you right now. I want to leave the the sex phone place where I'm at now and come round and we can bang like constantly <coughs> fucking hell I didn't know I didn't know it was going to be this I just feel um oh my god this is intense I bet your dick's the size of like one of my legs or something maybe my whole torso I bet you oh, I bet it's massive like genuinely, I'm not even like. <sighs> oh, oh, can you can you try humiliate me instead of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can. Yeah, I hate your dick. I hate your dick. Uh, yeah, prawn that's... dick. Fucking prawn dick. Maggot dick. Tiny, tiny dick. I hate you. I hate your dick. I bet your ass looks like. I bet it looks like shit. I bet you look. Fucking terrible. I am extremely uh, aroused right now and I need to put the phone down because God, like, yeah, meet me like tomorrow outside Piccadilly Chief Station, six o'clock, six o'clock. Yeah, there's a connection, we should meet up right away. All right, see ya, bye. See you later. All right, bye. Ta-ra, bye. That was really intense and hot. I love it. Maybe the thing I need is like true love. We could have sex like in Don't Look Now. If anyone's seen that, it's really hot and they're just like, they're really into each other. We could have sex like that. Anyway, I quit this place. Hey, are you, are you the guy from the, the sex call thing? No, 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 no. Excuse me, are you... Yeah, it's alright, alright. Come on. <coughs> yeah, I forgot about the watch. Oh my god. Are you, are you in? You fucking... There's no, there's nothing wrong with you. 
there's, there's, you are, you're fine, aren't you? There's nothing wrong. You've got a brolly in everything. You know, I had some, I've had some bad relationships in the past. I once went out with this guy called Greg Crunch and yeah, he treated me like crap and um, he's, he'd got a, he'd got a dad called, he's called Greg Crunch as well, like Greg Crunch Senior and I was with Greg Crunch Junior. And uh, yeah, they're just both of them weird, and you don't, you don't seem like that. How about we go to like Patisserie Valerie or something, because we don't have them in Lincolnshire, and I just want us to sit in there and look at each other for a bit. I think it will be really like romantic. <laughs> 